Hello, welcome back to Rotor Riot. It's that time again. We are doing the Rotor Riot Community Spotlight, hosted by Jaboy Vortex. We're just going to jump right into this, okay? So first up, we have the Under 1K Club. These are people who have less than 1,000 subscribers. We're going to get you guys some more subs because you guys got good stuff. So first up, we got Shiny FPV. So I don't know where this guy is at, but take me there because it's getting cold here in Detroit. I'm ready to, I'm ready to get out of here. Check this out. This is a about the best golden hour footage I've ever seen. That's that's looking nice. It's nice just to see some beautiful scenery and that's what we got here. Good stuff, shiny FPV. Next up we got, oh, Chris Quad. This guy reached into my brain and stole my idea. He took his video and the intro of it is like an old school Nintendo video game. And I had this exact idea to do it and it's amazing that it turned out so cool. It starts off, you have to pick your location, whether you want to do the Bando or the cool scenic place. He even made it Detroit, Michigan. This is amazing. You can pick your character if you want to be Final Glide, Ladriv, Mr. Steel, or, or Chris Quad. After that, it's just some flying with some like effect on the video making it look like a video game still good stuff very well done very creative i like to see that kind of stuff next up under 1k we got dozer fpv i believe he also goes by charlie potter on the old facebooks he's just killing it with some tight proximity and like kind of like johnny fpv type of style where it's like low tilt but really precise and he keeps it all in this little small area which i i like to see stuff like that and then he does these really cool like float up stop for a second and then float back down it's just like awesome it's just good solid flying rollo fpv and yeah i just really like this uh good vibe funky music he picked real smooth solid flying through the trees kind of reminds me of like old school schizo edit keep it up with the good vibes and the funky beats man i like i like your style nobody fpv and i don't think you're a nobody nobody i think you're a somebody because it's pretty good flying here this is my style of uh spot it's a nice bando. Hitting those dive gaps, I like it. He really gets in there and explores pretty well. Overall, solid work. Good job, nobody FPV. That is it for the under 1K club. Next up, we got location, location, location. We're gonna go with Ironic GTI FPV. I think, I feel like he's been on here before already. I'm sorry, I'm really trying not to repeat people, but this is awesome. This is like the most epic place I've ever seen flown. I like how the music matches the vibe of the video. There's kind of like this constant build-up going on. It's this epic uh, gap in the rock that was really cool. Very good. I like all the transitions. So thank you for uh, posting this and keeping us entertained with this gorgeous footage. Okay, next up for locations, I picked Gal Vital. It's not exactly the like scenery like the last guy I had, but you gotta admit that's a pretty sweet spot. Building that's about to be put together because yeah, limited time to fly these types of spots. It's gonna not be like that very soon. And he gets pretty risky in this video too, which I like. I don't know how much access he has to go get his quad back if he crashes in there. He plays with the cranes really tight. Solid edit. Next up for location, and also a collaboration, we have Pika FPV. Pika is flying some gorgeous mountainside castle looking thing. But then to top that off, he's got a friend in the video that he's working with. It looks like she's some kind of interpretive dance person. I like to see stuff like that. I like to see use the hobby as a way to film subjects and like not just flying around for the hell of it, just to also have some kind of subject that you're going to capture with it. I think that's really cool. Really cool to see you uh, collaborating with other people. That's awesome. Vasily Zerman, I believe. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. We have another long range mountainside flying, which is starting to get somewhat common. That's not too special, but whoa, flying through the clouds bit. That's what really got me to pick this one. So you don't see that one every day. Yeah, at one point he's just pure cloud. You can't even see the ground and then just kind of slowly falls through it. It's just amazing. All right, next up we got Skywook. Once again, locations tend to be these huge, vast mountain ranges, but this guy gets extra points because it's covered in snow and he's getting like super low down into it, which is like super ballsy. Very impressive. I would not do that because I'm not a hiker. I would, I would, I would just lose my quad. I'd never be able to get. It. But where are these people standing when they're doing this? I don't understand it. I'm used to flying the bandos in such tight little space. Like this blows my mind. And that's gonna do it for the locations. Next up, we're gonna move on to the killer edits. We got my buddy Tangu. So I was aware of this guy before I ever even got into quads because, like me, he was into 3D helicopters before quads, and he was a beast with those too. But in this one, it's not so much about 
his like crazy flying is about this really cool edit that he put together. The concept is like the fear of being a dad, overcoming that. So it kind of ties in with the song and everything. And it's like, it's just cool to see someone dedicate a video to their child that's only one years old. So this is really good stuff. You put some cool transitions in here. Congrats Tengu on making the list and congrats on uh, being a proud father of a one year old just by chance with his drift FPV edit. So we've all seen a bunch of drift edits before, but this is, I think, one of the better ones. It's really cool. I like that he's using different perspectives. Like you get the looking out the window of the car shot and then the chase shots. It's got some really cool slow-mo shots at golden hours. It's just, it's just a really good edit. I like it. Oh, this one's awesome. This is one of the best videos I may have ever seen for FPV. This one's called Drones Change My Life by Westside FPV. This is like a little short movie. This is just awesome. There's so much crazy editing work in this with all the overlays and quick cuts and effects and everything, but more than that, it's like telling a really good story, which is why this hobby is so important and what it's all about and touching emotional video. You should watch it. I feel like the, this hobby kind of gives people a little bit of an intro into more like typical filmmaking. It gives you a reason to start making videos. So I love to see when people take that and like actually really make a little short film type of thing like that's really cool so again very well done for my next killer edit pick i'm gonna go for this video called supervision which is not on air blaster's channel but he worked on this so all the drone shots are from air blaster who you've probably seen here on the spotlight before and this video is just awesome it's really cool to see what we can do integrated into a bigger film production of seeing it just used as part of the storytelling and not all of it, but get those certain angles and you got shots from inside the car. I don't know how he's getting such a long reverse shot. Does he have the camera on the back of the car? I don't know. Air Blaster, I'm gonna have to ask you some questions because I don't even understand. I don't even know how you do all this. Next up, we have a category that I just created today called the I scrolled through Facebook for five minutes looking for cool videos because nowadays there's so many good pilots and cool people, it doesn't take very long to find something that's really cool. So, first up, we got my boy Dave Hines, aka Copper Top FPV, with a video called so much gold. What I like about this is that I like how Dave, and similar to what I do, he, he cuts to the music really good. To me, it's like really important that you cut on beat so what you're seeing and hearing matches up. And it's like the personality of the video. I like the personality of the guy. Dave's a really cool guy. It's gotten a lot smoother. Everybody has, seems like. Everybody's just killing it these days, flying real smooth. Good work, Dave. Next up, we have this crazy clip that uh, Finky posted. Even though it's not him, it's actually his buddy J True flying, which is like, he does some kind of crazy TikTok-y, reverse-y, flippy thing, which is awesome. But really why I wanted to put this one on there is because I like how Finky has been highlighting other people on his channel. I think that's really cool. It's not just all about himself. He likes to feature other people. That's cool. And just giving other people shine, it's like, it's kind of like what we're doing right now. So it's really cool to see him do that. And last up for my Facebook scrolling Liam Flanagan. He titled it, what should I call this? The reverse knife edge? And I just picked this because it's like, again, really good close proximity flying that I really like where you don't have to travel a bunch of distance to really tear it up. You can just kind of keep it in tight. Good job, Liam. That was awesome. Okay, it is time now for Jaboy to hand out this month's Rotor Riot Medallion Award. Icky. FPV saves us. It saves us from ourselves and from the noise around us. We're gonna give it to Icky FPV for his uh, This Is Why We FPV edit. Icky is super talented. It's almost like a mini documentary style video, like the way he does the voiceover and everything and kind of pulls in different footage from uh, like stock footage and stuff. But this is a really cool way to show what this hobby means to him and to a lot of us and kind of explain his viewpoints on what it what it means to do FPV. I feel like he always puts in so much effort and makes a really polished product. What he was able to put together with this I think was really special. So that's why we're giving you the medallion award, Icky. So that's going to do it for this month's Community Spotlight. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I tried to not pick too many people that have been on here before. Hopefully I expose you to some new people that you hadn't heard of. Make sure to give all those guys some support. Subscribe to their channels. Show Rotor Riot your support by shopping at the Rotor Riot store. Sign up for Quad Camp online. Sign up for Quad Box. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you later. See you. Wow. <laughs>
Dang, we really are in sync. This is good. <laughs>